Hey, what's going on everyone? So guess what? The rigid 10 inch compact table saw withstand is here. This thing is brand new. It literally just came out, I think maybe a month ago. We're gonna unbox it, we're gonna put it together and we're gonna put it through its paces. We're gonna see how well it holds up. I'm really excited about this thing. So about a month ago, this thing came out and uh, I've been looking at it at the store, you know, the Black Friday deals and all that good stuff. They had these sitting out front and uh, man, I was just drooling over this thing. And one of the main reasons for this was because of the stand. I mean, how often do you get a stand with one of these types of saws, right? These table saws, not very often. So you get the fence in here, it looks like. And you get the push, all kind of good stuff. But we're gonna open this up here and we're gonna see what exactly you get. And it's getting pretty dark out. I mean, it's, it gets dark out at five o'clock in the afternoon now here in Ohio. And uh, it's, it's December now and I don't know. I, well, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna unbox this. I'm gonna put it together tonight. And then tomorrow, we're, we're just gonna cut a bunch of wood with it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna abuse it. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, this winter here is killing me. Five o'clock, it gets dark. So you can see here, Man, I, I gotta be honest with you, for a compact, uh, this thing here looks uh, well, like it's a pretty nice size. You know, the box is pretty heavy. All right, so let's cut these sides out because I really don't want to lift this thing out. I watched that FedEx guy deliver this thing today and he picked this box up like it was nothing. I don't know how work out or something. All right, let's open this box up. I think we're making progress. There you go. All right, and now you got the, the foam. All right, let me get this in another angle here. All right, so we got these box sides open over here. Rip this star foam off. Man, this is no joke. Making sure that nothing happens during shipping. I'm gonna have to get that FedEx guy back and get help for me. Yeah, it looks like some legs here. For the stand. It's gonna be a little bit of assembly. Shouldn't be a big deal though. Yeah, this is no joke. Let's check this out right here. Slides out like this. <laughs> wow. All right. Looks like the fence. More down here. Looks like more stuff on the stand. And uh, tell you what, let me get the rest of this foam out of here. I'm gonna be here all night. I don't think you wanna see all that, but yeah, this thing is packaged well. See, there's more stuff down in here. Yeah, some knobs and stuff. Yeah, this is packaged really nice. You know, there shouldn't be any damage during shipping or anything like that. So let me, uh, let me rip this thing off and uh, I'll be right back. All right, so that was fun. There was a, there was a lot of foam in that box. So I think the best thing to do is set this table up first, right? It only makes sense, but just to show you what comes in here, you know, you got some brackets, you get the miter fence, you get the guarding, you gonna get your kickback, kickstopper there, you can get a knob here, a couple other things, your wrenches, we'll go through all this. You got your wrenches for your blade, and then all your legs, you got a bunch of bolts here, and uh, I'm assuming those are two, Put the stand together. And the stand legs are actually uh, really solid. You know, these are all metal. So that's that's nice. And uh, your push stick, once again, we'll we'll go through all that. But um, yeah, I think the best thing to do is actually put the stand together first. And then once I put the stand together, you know, I'll, I'll start putting the table saw together on top of that. And we'll just go from there. Unfortunately, it's getting a little dark out. It's five o'clock, I think it's like 4.30. 4.30, it's dark art. Everybody loves winter, I don't get it. 
All right, so I'm gonna put this thing together. We'll be back once it lights up a little bit. And like I said, we'll start, we'll start ripping. All right, so wifey's not gonna be real happy with me because I brought this inside. But you know what? Anything for you guys, right? So what I wanna show you is I put the stand together and it was actually not that bad. I struggled a little bit, but it was my fault. And I'm gonna show you what I did. So when you go to put this together, watch out for this. Um, I didn't read the directions, <laughs> I should have. But these braces here, you got one on the front and then you got one on the back. One of them are shorter than the other, right? Obviously it makes sense. So you got the inside legs here, inside leg there, use the shorter bracket. And then on the back where the legs go out, use the longer bracket. And it's the same thing up here, right? So you got your platform here, over there on the other side, your braces. This is where the table saw is gonna sit. Longer one here, shorter one in the back. So make sure that you do it that way so you don't have to worry about taking it apart three times. And just so you know, you get some brackets over here and I'll show you this collapsing. But you get a bracket over there and a bracket over there and that's what holds those legs together. So let me show you how this collapses. So let me show you how this thing folds up. You know, it's, it's actually very sturdy, but it's light, it's not heavy at all. Now I weigh 200 some pounds, right? 200, maybe, uh, I think I weighed like 240, right? So, I mean, this thing here, it's solid. So you don't have to worry about this thing collapsing or anything. It's gonna hold that table saw and whatever wood you're running on it. So I'm, I'm really happy with how sturdy this is. And as far as it goes with collapsing, that's it, right? So it's real easy and those brackets are really strong in there. So stand is done. Let's put the table saw on there. All right, so we're back outside. And FYI, I did get yelled at for the muddy hallway. So what I did here, um, it was real simple to do actually. Uh, I actually put this table saw on the stand. And the only way you gotta do this is just get a, a bolt here, here, over here on this side, over here on this side. So it's four all together. And they actually uh, lined up really nice. So this is nice and secure now. Real happy with how easy that was to actually put on there. And you can see when I'm pushing it this way, I mean, there's no play, not much. I mean, it's pretty solid. So you got those rubber legs on the bottom of the stand that, that really allow that to you know, grab onto the concrete or whatever you're working on. So it's a nice touch, but yeah, that's a solid little stand, man. I'm happy with that. All right, so uh, let's put the rest of this thing together here. All right, so just to show you here real quick, you got your little knob here, right? For your height adjustment, you gotta take that end cap off. There's that screw. And it's a little tough to get on, but you gotta make sure you take that end cap on and you're never gonna get that nut on the back right so it doesn't just screw in on there all right so all i did just to show you put that screw in there and then that nut fits in this little groove right here and you just tighten that down and you're just going to throw that back on like so and then this will allow you to adjust the height and so on so it's really it's really not that hard it's not the easiest but i mean it's that's how you do it all right, so the miter gauge, man, this thing, uh, this thing's pretty solid. It feels really good in the hands, and I'm pretty happy with that. And you can adjust it just by that knob. Turn it this way, turn it that way, lock it in. It goes up to 60 degrees, so that's uh, that's pretty nice. And it just slides right in here like that. You're good to go. Yeah, it feels pretty heavy duty, actually. So I'm pretty happy with that. So one of the really cool things that Rigid did on this table saw is they gave you some storage, right? So on a lot of the table saws that I've had, you know, I would have this and have the push stick and miter gauge and, you know, the wrenches and, you know, the guards and all that. And I'd always put them up on top of the saw and then they'd fall off and I'd lose them. And it just got to be a real pain in the butt because there's no on on board storage, right? Well, they changed that here. It's pretty cool. So here's your push stick storage. You can just put that down like that. And here's your, your miter gauge storage. And you just push this out like so. 
you just slide it back in you got this plastic clip so pretty cool right yeah they did a good job on that it does lock in there real nice now you don't have to worry about this thing falling off on you because they're in there pretty solid so I, I like that a lot I think they did a really good job on that there so yeah good job good job with the storage and like I say just push that down in the clip that's it that ain't going that ain't going anywhere it's in there pretty solid so yeah I really like this and the other thing they added here which I think is really cool is a tool blade storage and the wrench storage right so you can put your blade here it hangs down inside the slot so if you have different tooths on there right so you have maybe like a 24 or whatever so you, you, you put those down in there they just kind of hang so now you can have a couple different blades on that and this goes like this right here just tighten this down a little bit now those aren't going anywhere so that's that's a pretty good idea if you ask me i like that a lot there you go that's, that's awesome the other nice thing about this is you got a, a cord wind right like a little wrap area which you know, my other table saws for some reason they didn't offer that i don't get that but um yeah this is pretty cool so now you can wrap up your cord real easy and stays out of the way it's not dragging on the ground so yeah that's pretty cool all right so let's have the kick stop here your guard let's wind this up here that blade is pretty smooth coming up let's see what kind of blade they put on this bad boy here They put on this here. Yeah, it's a rigid blade. Good. I, I've had, you know, rigid blades on my miter saws, and they cut. They cut really good, man. I'm happy with that. That's a nice blade there. I think it's a 24, 24, 36 tooth. There you go. So yeah, that'll come with it. So that's a that's a big plus right there. All right. So FYI, you know, if you ever need to change a blade or you know, make an adjustment in here just pull this right here and that comes right off so now you can get in there do all kind of stuff right blades really easy to get to as well when it comes to changing it so that's pretty nice and you just put your wrenches down in there and boom you got some nice space over here shouldn't have any issues getting in there and changing that out the other nice thing about this the riving knife is easy to get to you can adjust it right here up and down and all that good stuff so there's a lever back here so yeah, they made this real easy to get in and out. Yeah, yeah that's pretty nice, man. It's nice and easy. You can see uh, the dust collecting tray blows it out the back. I'll show you all that when I operate this thing, but so you should be able to push that sawdust out real nice. All right, so your anti-kickback. These things are sharp, man. Look at that. Got a tree down with these things. Man. All right, so just push this paddle down here and then push this button in it goes into that last notch there you go that's it nice spring action so that was real easy to put on and there's the guard right there it's real easy to put on real simple it just goes into that middle notch it's a larger notch but we're not going to use it though we're gonna be rebels, we'll just cut without it. Don't tell anyone. All right, so I just wanted to make sure everything was aligned and square, and it is, I'm happy. And if you ever do run into any trouble, there's some adjustment screws right here. They even give you a, a wrench here. Go in there and do your thing. So it's nice, but yeah, that's how you would adjust that. But yeah, everything was lined up good. Everything's square, and uh, yeah, we're good to go on that front. So now the only other thing we got to look at now is the fence, really, and we'll start going over the specs. We'll start cutting some stuff up, you know, making some adjustments, all that good stuff. I'll let you hear how it runs, and you know. So the fence here, it's pretty heavy duty, man. It's pretty sturdy. I like the fence. The fence is real nice. Put that on like so. And now you can slide and slide's real nice. So there's a little bit of play. But once you lock that into where you want to be, and let me come up here, I'll put this right there. Once you lock that in, it, it, it like self-adjusts almost, so. Let's 
solid, man. It, it stays on there real nice and tight. So, you know, I'm happy with that. There is a little bit of play. I will say there is a little bit of play, but once you get it to where you want it, you line that up on both sides, flip that down, you're good to go. So yeah, I like that. All right, so let's start uh, moving this table here. And just so you know, this is a, a, a soft start. You know, they say it's a soft, soft start motor and uh, you know, you're ripping up the 26 inch capacity. So that's really nice. You got your markings over here, by the way. And uh, this isn't metal or anything. This isn't etched. It's like a, like a plastic film almost in there. And um, you know, the, the numbers are large. They look nice, they're easy to read. I hope that holds up, it should hold up. Yeah, but it's not, I'm just letting you know, it's not uh, etched in there in metal. All right, let's take a look at this table here. No reason why you shouldn't be able to cut a four by eight piece of plywood, hopefully. So here's your lever here, your releasing lever. Pop it, boom, and just slide that out. And uh, I gotta be honest with you, let me move this over here. This slide's really nice. I mean, it's really nice. It's, uh, Slice real good. A lot of the times with those heavier saws, they're a little bit tough to pull in and out, but this just glides, man. It's real nice. And you can just lock that back up to where you need to be. So yeah, that's that's real nice. I like that. That's that's real easy to use. Real easy to use actually. Now you can cut your, your plywood or whatever you need. You just, I like where they put this too. That's real convenient. You know, that locking lever. You know, instead of just sitting there and trying to get up underneath the table, like on a lot of them, that's real nice. I like that. So we'll slide that back in. Look at that, just glides. It's nice, I like that. I just want to give you guys a close up. Here's your bevel, bevel locking, All right? So now you can adjust that to 45 degrees if you want. So that's pretty simple to do. And then once you get to where you want it to be, just lock that up again. Yeah. So that's real easy to do too. Everything's right at arm's length, you know. And here's your adjustment again, with that knob on there. So that's pretty smooth. So yeah, there's your bevel. All right, let's look at the build of this thing and then after we'll do some cut, some ripping. So as far as it goes with the table, it's cast aluminum, right? It's like lightweight material, but um, stuff's solid, man. It's, you know, it's, it's cast aluminum. You know, I got a lot of tools that use that. And even uh, some of the really expensive stuff that use that cast aluminum. It just makes it lighter, but it's, it's durable. So I, I love this stuff here. So yeah, the table's cast aluminum. Now I will say on the sides, you can see, over here, the whole way around. Now, the, the, the bracing, you know, um, that's all metal, but you get a lot of plastic for, for this saw on the side. This is a stamp metal, right? And even over here, over here, over here, that's all plastic. Now, I will say that it's a heavier duty plastic, right? It's, that, it's like that polycarbon fiberglass resin mixture almost I don't know what they they really put in it but it's it's a heavier duty plastic now you have to remember for the price point of this and I'm, and I'm not gonna say what this all costs I'll say it's cheap I'm not gonna sit there and tell you what it costs today because what it costs today probably won't be the same tomorrow and then you know I get a lot of comments saying hey you know you said it was this price and now it's this price and you know I don't want that so sometimes the prices go up, sometimes the prices go down. Um, but I will say for the price of this thing and the stand, I'll deal with this. Now, will it hold up on a heavy duty construction site? Listen, Rigid has a heavy duty pro grade table saw, right? I would say this here is mid grade, you know, uh, maybe you're doing, maybe you're a handyman or you're you know, flipping houses or whatever, or you're a DIY, you know, weekend warrior. I think this is solid, you know, for the build. I really do. And even though there's plastic on here, it's, it's a, 
it's a thick heavy plastic so I don't have any complaints about that at all um, will it hold up on a construction site sure you know but I'm just saying it's not stamped metal I'm just being honest with you but other than that I mean who cares I mean you're, you're using this thing around the house or you know if you want to spend a couple hundred extra dollars go with the pro grade you know you'll get the stamp metal and all that good stuff but listen this is uh it's pretty good for me right it's good enough for me and I think a lot of pros would even probably be happy with this you know especially if you're you know like I said flipping houses or doing whatever I, I don't see any problems with this holding up at all I mean that stand is solid you know I like the tabletop so yeah yeah it's uh you got to remember the price range on this thing here I'll put a link in the description by the way for the Home Depot you can you can check this out but it's I mean it's it's priced really well you know for what you're getting here so all right enough talking let's uh start cutting oh and by the way i moved this ribbing knife up because this button here would get in the way of this so just move that up if you need to but what we're going to do now is we're going to cut some two by six pine right and uh, once again this is soft starts 15 amp and uh we're going to see how well that's all right we're going to cut some over here inch thick strips here let's turn this on Yeah, it's definitely a soft start. Check that out. Yeah, that's definitely a soft start. Do that again. Listen to a build up there. Sweet. Alright, let's push this through here. Nice, man. That's, that's pretty impressive. How smooth that is. Look at that. That's uh, that that was, that's impressive. That that's a nice cut, man. Wow. I mean, that's 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 powerful. A 15 amp motor, man. It moves. That's that's smooth. Look at that. I'm I'm impressed with that. Look at that. How clean that is. I'll tell you what, this thing cuts, that, that cut nice. That cut really nice. Let's make a couple more cuts here. tell you what that's that's solid that's no joke I'm, I'm really impressed by how well that cuts that's that's awesome that's, that's real nice check that out yeah. that's a smooth cut well done and it's powerful you know I went right through that I mean it's pine it's softer wood but still I mean usually when you're cutting two by fours like that or two by sixes or whatever it's it's a little tough to push through and I didn't have any any problem at all no effort at all required for that so that's really impressive I'm happy with that so uh, and FYI you know you can see a review on this as well if you're wanting to know what this is those are those rigid stands I love these things man check those out um, I'll put a link for those too in the description I use these all the time not just for just cutting it's I use them around the shop all the time 
you know, for everything. I use this for like painting stuff. Check those out, those are awesome. But uh, all right, let's, uh, let's switch it up. We'll go with some, uh, I don't know, plywood. All right, so I got a, it's about an eighth of an inch, you know, smaller sheet of plywood, and uh, I got that crappy veneer on there, which I have a feeling is just probably gonna blow off as I'm, as I'm cutting this. And I don't care if you got a solid gold $24,000 table saw, I mean, it's still gonna do the same thing, right? It's, uh, it's not the saw, it's just, you know, you can tape this and then run the line, but I'm not even gonna do that. I just wanna show you how this cuts. So uh, we're gonna use the table, extend it out like that. You know, I should probably flip it over like this. Give it that smooth side. So I got that extended out and uh, let's see. Let me zoom in a little bit for you here. All right, here we go. with you I really thought that I was going to uh, let me back this up here wrong way. I never get that right I really thought that I was gonna rip that up because I was using this with the uh, you know another saw maybe it was a blade this was a different saw actually it shouldn't have been a blade it was a brand new blade but look how chewed up that is but look how smooth that came out that that blades awesome on this I'm, I'm really uh, <laughs> I'm really impressed with this, man. I mean, the way this thing cuts, it's um, smooth. I've got a little bit here, a little bit, but man, I really thought that that would have blown that off. Cause look at this over here. That was with a, that was with a brand new tool, brand new blade. I'm not gonna say which one, but look at that. Look at the difference. I cut right through. Let me do this one more time here. liking it that that blade's sharp man that's awesome all right let's do a couple 45 degree rips here smooth oh so smooth all right a couple more here Obviously, I'm not not using a fence here. So it's probably aren't going to be perfect, but yeah, that's, that's nice, man. I, I'm happy with this. I, I like this. It cuts good. Quite impressive. Oh, and just to show you, there's your discharge chute. So you can hook up a, a shop back, you know, to the back of that thing and suck all that dust out. But you can see it blows it out real nice. All right? It's not all over the place in the the garage so yeah that works out really nice that worked out good all right so let's talk about specs real quick 120 volt right and uh 5000 rpm so that's pretty nice soft start motor i, I gotta be honest with you <clears throat> excuse me it, it definitely is a soft start motor you can tell sometimes you're like eh, i don't know but yeah this here is definitely a it's, it's a quiet startup uh, 15 amp motor, uh, 26 inch root capacity. No reason why you couldn't do a, uh, a four by eight sheet of plywood on this thing. Cast aluminum table, I really like that. And the dust collector, the chute, yeah, it worked really well. Uh, still roll cage frame, which we showed you, and the onboard tool accessory holders, which are really nice. I, I like that. I like how you can put your uh, you know, miter fence up on there and your, your push stick and all that good stuff, your wrenches. So that's, that's really nice. You don't have to worry about these things falling all over the place or where you put them. All right, so here's my final thoughts on this thing. It's, it's beast, man. I mean, it is beast. 
it's cool i mean you got to remember the price range on this thing and uh like i said i'll put a link in the description but you know that motor i mean the soft start it definitely is a soft start you can tell but uh it's 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 tough man and it cut through like nothing at all i i was really impressed i really like the onboard storage you know with the you know we were showing you here the wrenches and the miter gauges and push saws and all that um but man it is tough it's real easy to adjust everything on here that blade is sharp and uh i, I like how easy the table is to adjust in and out the the actual stand itself pretty solid right it's nice because now you can work at height you don't have to worry about bending down or you know putting it out on a, a self-made working table you have that right there for you i think if you're a diyer or a weekend warrior or somebody that maybe does uh, a little bit more advanced work like flipping houses or whatever i i, I think you'd love this i think this is uh <clears throat> i think this is a tough saw now mind you the professional grade that they have and i haven't tried that i have not tried their professional grade saw but you know i'm guessing there's a little bit more metal involved with that you know the stamp metal um but this hard plastic unless you're bouncing this thing off the the floor you know or, or running into it with your truck i don't see why that wouldn't hold up i mean it's thick it's a thick plastic so you know i don't have any issues with that but all in all man uh yeah the this saw I'm telling you, check out the price of this thing. You're going to be like, holy crap. It, it's tough. So listen, I'm giving this a five star uh, just because of how well that cut. I'm really surprised at just how well those boards went through. I mean, it was smooth. I'm, I'm real happy with this. So well done, Rigid, on this. And keeping it in the price range of somebody that can uh, you know, go out and buy one of these things for out in the shop or if you're doing woodworking. I think you're really going to like it. So check it out. I'll put the links down below. Hey, we got a Twitter page now. So check us out there. It's uh, at Tool Review Zone. And, uh, you know, our blog, www.toolreviewzone.com. I'll, I'll put a story up about this table. So I, I think it's really cool. And, uh, you know, thumbs up, subscribe. Check us out. We'll have more videos coming up soon. Just so you know, we will have a rigid 10-inch miter saw coming up next week. So I'm excited about that. So, all right, take it easy.